Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this gradient transition here along the background so you get a nice smooth transition from your base to your background color. It adds a kind of nice built in vignette and I think kind of a level of professionalism when you're doing a, renders of specific objects. So, this is our project file. I have a base here, I got Suzanne head, I've got a camera and I'm just using HDR lighting for the scene. So that's our scene. The base object here has a shader on it that looks kind of like um, fabric. All right, and that's just using the texture coordinates mapping node using the magic texture with an exponent to mix a red and a, a dark red and it uses that same exponent to create a bump. And the resulting image is this kind of fabric-y looking thing. The real trick here is this gradient mask. It uses the light path object and you take the shadow of the ray length um, port and you move that into a math node set to divide. 960 seems to work well. Make this bigger so you can see it. So array length into math divided by 960. That runs into a color ramp, and this color ramp is used to control uh, where the gradient is in the scene, how close to the camera it is. And then that color ramp is fed in as a factor to mix the base color of the object, that red fabric-y thing I just showed you, with a background color. In this case, I just have a just a black diffuse. All right, so if we go back to our render scene, you can see that this gradient mask is creating this, this black transition here. And if we just isolate that for a second, you can see if I move these back and forth, you can see how these affect where this transition is. I'll put it back here. And we'll go back to this. And you can play with this to make it either a tighter gradient, um, further to the camera, closer to the camera. You can see how I get them closer together, the gradient becomes very tight. As I pull them apart, it becomes more gradual, fades in. Um, one thing to note is when you're doing this, this um, effect is only visible inside the camera view. Once you pop out a camera view, it doesn't work. And that's because the, the light path ray length value doesn't mean anything when you're not looking through a camera. So if you're doing this project and you go, hey, I can't see my gradient, it's probably because you're not in camera view. Uh, so once you're in camera view, you get that. And then if we kick off a render, pause it and I'll kick off a render here. All right, so the render finished. And you don't see any black in the background because we need to add that in the compositor. So what I have here is, you know, I use the denoising function. So I get the denoised image and then it goes through an alpha over. If I don't use the alpha over, you know, the background is just transparent like that. But by using the alpha factor, plugging into the factor, and then for your upper image here, setting that to your background color, uh, and then mixing it with your, your actual image, you get this nice transition from your base into the background. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you like it, thumbs up. Thank you for watching.